than a thousand protesters rallied at the State House and marched through downtown Springfield. Organizers called for the demonstration to remain peaceful. And that's where we find WCI3's Mark Maxwell. So, Mark, was it peaceful? Jennifer, good evening. So far, yes, it has been. There's been more than a thousand protesters here just now completing a few moments ago their second lap around downtown Springfield. And there are passionate, moving pleas from the organizers here calling for uh, this peace, uh, this protest to remain peaceful in large part because they feel that that anger and frustration from business owners in cities across central Illinois that see that rioting or looting elsewhere feel that distracts from their message. The, the message they say that didn't just start last Monday with the death of George Floyd in Minnesota, but one speaker, as he put it, said this has been building for 400 years in a country that has uh, witnessed what he calls systemic racism, and he uh, protested what he, uh, what he sees as police brutality, mass incarceration, and called for those things to change. They did have an overt political message saying, politicians, can you not hear us now? We caught up with one business owner whose storefront was on the side of the street to hear what he had to say as protesters marched past. It's peaceful, no rioting, no looting, nobody's fighting, everybody's together. This is what we need. Set the example, Springfield. Set the example for this country. He hopes that the city of Springfield, of course, home uh, to the birth uh, to Abraham Lincoln and, of course, the political career of Barack Obama, both starting here in the city, they hope that that uh, debate can move forward peacefully. Uh, and hopefully a political solution at the end, but also beyond politics, one of human rights and civil rights. They, they want dignity and respect uh, for people of color, and that's the prevailing message here. Um, but again, we'll keep an eye on these protests as they continue uh, throughout the evening. Jennifer.